what's going on everybody uh second installment of my type of do-it-yourself uh as you seen in the last video or you're watching this one first i don't know but i also did an aeration bucket um made it very simple very easy uh took all of maybe 10 minutes to make it um this next one it's a lot more complicated uh, but yeah it was a lot more complicated to make um, a lot more wiring detailed but I ended up making a trolling motor box uh, more or less like a power box uh, walking around the store seeing it sitting on the shelf looked at it picked it up wanted 70 bucks for it well I've already got a battery that I paid over $150 for I, I don't need to spend another seventy dollars on a box that I can make it home, and firstly, a lot more cheaper than what I was looking at at the store. So this is just a prototype. Uh, I do want. I am gonna make make another one, and I'm gonna make it a whole lot better. Of course, this right here is just first trial and error run, just to see how things would work out. But Let's see if I can get you guys over here. Let you guys check it out. There it is. I ended up doing power ports, straight connect, 12 volt battery, can power cell phone chargers, lights, whatever you want to hook to it. Um, the way I did this, I ended up putting an on off switch. This cuts all of these on and also cuts this on. Uh, this is just a 12 volt voltage battery checker. Uh, I don't really have to worry about the alternator portion up here, but just knowing how much I have left in my battery, uh, all you do, flip the switch on, light turns red, that's why I like that little switch. Lets you know it's on, but you can see, I'm sitting over 12 and a half volts right here. Still got 12 and i don't i hope i never get down to five volts but it's got a five volt for some reason but like i said this is just a trial and error but like i said i turned this switch on now i have power to these right here i also made poles on each side these are live constantly i don't have these running through a switch but let's get it open and i'll show you what i did as far as getting everything tied in and just I guess just kind of go through how I did it all right as you can see the top of my battery where I you know got a little paint happy but this is everything this is all my wiring got everything shrink wrapped got everything tightened up course phase taped and stuff like that on my poles because I definitely didn't want them getting hot definitely didn't want them touching anything but the most that I did was pretty much just hooked everything together got everything bolted down uh, got some brackets and stuff in the bottom keeps my battery from sliding back and forth very simple technique uh, yet I did run into a few problems like my switch it had no direction on it uh, you didn't know what was hot what was ground what was on off you had to go through and actually just test it to figure it out and thank goodness I got a little bit of wiring experience and I was able to kind of figure that out pretty quick but the way I did it uh, as simple as drilling holes I uh, figured out where I wanted to put my my 12 volt connectors uh, went ahead and drilled the holes got them put in drilled in uh, put my switch got my switch put in uh, didn't start any wire until I had everything put in put the little battery checker on top I actually used like a little cement compound and just glued it on top because it actually has a magnet on the back which was not worth anything it, it wouldn't even stick to hardened steel if it depending on it. but went through got it down 
got it so it worked. Uh, ended up having to cut the ends off of it, wire it in manually. I may end up later on on the next one I build put a either a push button checker. That way, you, all you got to do is just push it and it tells you how much you have. Um, my poles on the side, of course, these are just regular bolts right now, just galvanized steel. But I want to go back and I'm going to probably put stainless steel with wing nuts on it. Like I said, I mean, guys, this is this was a mock up, just trial run thing, and I couldn't not try it because of they cost seventy dollars at the store just because it's got stickers on it. And uh, I ended up going and got the box for like seven bucks, dirt cheap. Maybe it was eight bucks. I'm not. I can't remember now. I had some wire laying around, so wire didn't cost me a thing. Uh, the little voltage checker cost me five bucks. Each one of the plug-ins cost me five bucks a piece. So that's, what, we're at seven, maybe 25 now. Switch, switch was three dollars, cheap. Uh, had all the crimps, all the stuff, had to, even had the little fuse laying around here at the house so um, things that didn't cost me very much at all of course I have my battery like I said I already spent plenty of money on a deep deep cycle RV marine and RV deep cycle battery Went, spent plenty of money on it but that was my easy setup to do that um, really quick really easy um, it did take I bet I spent maybe an hour and a half building this box. So it didn't take me very long. But uh, having the wires, uh, having the wire at home made a big difference. Um, I ended up using, like for my big cables that go to my poles, I ended up using like a battery, well, yeah, it was a battery cable that came off of a lawnmower. Um, just something I had laying around. I ended up crimping some ends on it and making it work. Uh, ran them straight through the outside. Of course, like I said, I used phase tape to keep anything from touching. And then I went over it with electrical tape, made sure everything was sealed off. Shrink wrapped all my ends, all my plug ends that go to my connectors and stuff. But I highly recommend this. Uh, it's very simple, very easy to make. I think you guys would enjoy it if you tried it. Sorry, you have to let the truck go by. It gets a little loud around here every once in a while. But, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. There again, just like I've saying, been saying in my last couple videos, make sure you subscribe. Hopefully you'll get in on uh, free subscribe, or the free giveaway at 50 subscribers. Um, mm -hmm. I hope that y'all actually, uh, Throw a comment down below. Let me know if y'all are still wanting to do the rod and reel combo or whether or not you're wanting to ch change it up, whatever y'all want to do. Uh, leave me some comments below and we'll fish it out from there. Um, we're on our way to 50. We're at, uh, when I checked this morning, was at 15. Uh, and thank you all, you guys, for watching. I mean, Y'all don't know how much it means to me that y'all actually enjoy my videos. Like I said, I'm not a video tech guru by any means, but I like making things and I like sharing it with people. Um, still got a lot of things I want to try to do. Um, the next video that's going to be coming out is going to be over the Bass Raider and a new modification to it. Although these past videos, yes, this will be going on the Bass Raider. The bait bait bucket will be going on the bass raider and being used and just a lot of things going on um got to get you guys out there on the water uh working on trying to find me a chest harness that way i can wear my gopro style camera and hopefully you guys can see firsthand what it's like uh make sure it's really simple and easy um but yeah i mean this this right here has turned out and worked great um, I've actually used battery cables to test things out. Uh, I actually took it the first time I used it. I used battery cables hooked to it and uh, ran it to my truck because, like I said, it was chilly. 
this morning and ended up having to jump my truck off. So I got to buy another battery. Go figure. <laughs> but hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. Hit that like button. And hope you get, well, you know how it goes. I'll see you later on.